Okay, so I've played a lot of bad games in my day, but every now and then there's a special one that comes along and just takes the medal for pushing the bar of shittiness to a whole new level. Orc Slayer not only gets that medal, but it also wants to walk those who play it into a circle of hell that even Dante wouldn't want to write about. The premise of Orc Slayer is quite simple. Slay Orcs. The result is truly terrible. Extremely poor hit detection, buggy level design that can cause you to get stuck and have to reset the game, frustrating enemies, some of the worst fucking frame rate I've ever seen in a console game, and bland repetitive gameplay to say the least. The control feels terrible. It's loose and awkward and the frames dropping down in the single digits all the time doesn't help your controller inputs out at all. Aiming is a nightmare to say the least. Enemy placement is beyond frustrating due to the fact that you will shoot at enemies and watch your arrows pass directly through their body and deal no damage to them whatsoever. This happens very, very often and it makes the experience of trudging through this mess even worse. The graphics are complete dog shit. They resemble a PlayStation 2 era title at best and have a stuttering frame rate that is mind-blowingly bad. I tried to run with a heavy weapon equipped and I thought the game was going to break. It went into a slideshow of choppy animation and the audio started skipping like a broken record. Which brings me to the next problem. The sound. Sounds cut out during gameplay whenever almost any action happens, which is all of the time. You have audio cutting in and out to the point of absurdity. And the music? I don't even remember any music, so it must have been pretty forgettable if there was any. The fact that they're even charging $5 for this is a crime. Hell, Pain Train is a dollar on Steam and it's not even that good of a game and it still leagues better than this piece of shit. It actually works, unlike Orc Slayer. I'm just shocked that it looks as bad as it does and it's so poorly optimized that it can't run on a PlayStation 4. I mean, what the hell? Bottom line, if you have $5 sitting around and you want to waste that money, then you'd have a lot more fun forcefully inserting it dollar by dollar into your asshole than you would playing this fucking terrible goddamn abomination of a game.